that no one wants to have a software published with errors. You already know. Users do not like to receive software with errors because they cannot operate their functionalities and could be frustrated. You, as developer, would not like to deliver a software with problems, otherwise it will return to you to perform a correction and sometimes without the proper context for that execution, because problems could be introduced in a production environment. So, how to avoid that? That's the goal of this video, show to you how we could introduce automated tests to be performed before a new version to be deployed. For this purpose, we are going to use here the Jenkins tool that will define a pipeline that before the deployment of one application, it will run some automated tests. And just in case it passed to the tests, it will deploy the new version in the production server. Otherwise, if tests fail, the deployment also will not be executed. So let's do one use case of testing one React app. And just in case it passes in tests, we are going to deploy that. So let's begin. Before executing the pipeline, I would like to show to you how to configure one node project to be automatically tested with some kind of testing library, and Mocha is one example of this kind of library. So, once you have Mocha installed, you have below in the video description of the link of one video I have done the whole configuration of Mocha library, but it's not complicated. Basically, you have to install that with npm install and then the Mocha keyword. Okay, but once you have that installed, it's important to set that here in our package JSON file here in the test script. So if we run, I will do it later here to you, npm test, we are going to run our automated tests with Mocha. But how the tests are defined? The tests are then here inside the test folder. Below test folder, Mocha will look for the test script. So here we could have more than one file and all files are going to be executed and it's going to look for the test case that I described here with the describe keyword that has been imported from this Asset package, Zasset model that are imported with Mocha when the library was installed. Basically here, the purpose of our test scenario is to verify if the connection with an external database is working or not, if it's returning documents or not. Documents because it's a MongoDB database. Okay, so it's the tests we are doing here is some kind of integration tests. We are verifying if our ap application is able to connect in our database. In case our database is offline or is not accessible, then the tests are going to fail. So basically, we are going to call this function that is trying to recover all documents that are related to employees. And then if it returns zero documents, it means it has failed. So the test will fail, otherwise it will pass. Okay, um, then here it, I have imported here the, the class I'm going to test now. Okay, here is this, this class here. We are going to play here with the credentials to make that work and fail, this kind of connection. In this case here, we are, we are using Atlas environment to, to make the connection. But here are, are the function that looks for documents. It's a very standard function to interact with Node and MongoDB. So here we have valid credentials. So let's test that now in case then no matter what file you have opened here. Here I have the terminal and then just type now npm test. Why npm test? npm test is a very generic script. It could pass with Mocha or with any other test library, but it's going to do with Mocha because we have set here 
And it's very important you to observe this minus minus exit because it will make this test script ends always, no matter if it's a success or a failure, because it's important it to be concluded to be later on introduced in the Jenkins pipeline. So let's just execute that and then you can see the output. It's going to run the test now and now it's processing. You are going to see the outputs, calling the functionality. And here it is, it has passed in the test. Now you see the script has concluded because here my, my command line already waits for new comments. And now let's make one another execution with the fail scenario here offline without Jenkins, just for you understand the scenario. So we can now introduce a uh, invite username and then we could later on execute a new test. And now we are going to have the fail scenario. So just executing its processing. And here it is, okay? It, it has failed. Right, so now you have seen the two scenarios of execution, one that has passed and the other, other that has not passed. And now we are going to use Jenkins for automatically execu executing this procedure. You need to understand how to integrate that with Jenkins. We have here in the project a file named Jenkins file, okay? It's part of the project. And here we can define the pipeline. And the pipeline could have how many stages you want to. But the most common is the build one, where it's going to install the dependencies with the npm install. And we're going to have the test phase, the test stage here, calling the common npm test. It's going to run exactly the same things we have run before. But the Jenkins pipeline already has the intelligence for, in case the test pass, it go on in the next stage. In case it fail, it's going to block the execution of the next stages and everything from this point and on will fail. And just in case it pass, it's going to call the npm start that will then set up our production server. So now let's start the execution of this pipeline using Jenkins. Now let's first use Jenkins to present the scenario the test fail. Basically here I have Jenkins created with one item that is our project based in a source control version system. That is a pro, uh, item based in GitHub project. So in this case here, you can see we have then GitHub here configured. It's pointing to this project here, the same project I has presented to you before and the link is also available below in the description. And you can see here, we also point to the Jenkins file. Where is the Jenkins file we are going to use? It's directly in the root folder of this project that is here, Jenkins file, the same Jenkins file was presented before. Okay, now the test case is going to fail because I have set up um, a wrong password in the in the source code where it reads from the configurations for database connection. And then we could just return here to the pipeline item and ask for a new build, build now. Okay, starting to execute here, this number 28. Okay, it means that Red has tried to build this project 28 times. And now it's execute, executing all the steps from the pipeline. Okay, while it executes, we could take a look here directly in GitHub in the Jenks file item. So all these stages here, build, tests, and deploy will be available there to be executed. So it has already run the download of the code with git clone. We can now build with npm install. It also takes some time because it has to download our libraries. As you can see, the test has now been concluded. It has failed because it's red. And then the following stages has 
also failed. The, the fly has not been executed. If you want to see details why it has failed, you could just click above and then logs. It's going to show to you here details about its execution. And here it's saying to us that it has failed because we have a bad authentication because we have changed the credentials to simulate this failure. So next step, we are going to correct these credentials and we are going to see the full pipeline execution from the te test success and the code deployment. Now the credentials were corrected and then if you execute again the pipeline, we are going to have this stage pass it and then the deployment will run automatically and we are going to be able to access the new version of this application. So just click here in play now. So you can see after you has clicked, it starts here to show details about its execution. And then you have just to wait until the whole pipeline be executed. Okay, so let's wait that. Okay, has executed git clone. Now executing npm install. Okay, now the tests were executed. You can see here in logs that all tests were, were successfully processed. You can see here one passing test, okay, for retrieving the documents. You can return to the pipeline execution, clicking here, and then you can see the, the whole history, then all the phase has passed, and then the project has been deployed and we are able to access that in its standard port. Right? So that was the pipeline execution, one scenario where it has failed and another scenario where it has passed and then we have the automatic deployment. Now we have concluded the whole demonstration. I hope this content could be useful for you in that you can automatize and create your own pipelines with test execution and be able to execute your projects. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.